Welcome Ow. back. It's week four. I'm Jack. I'm Davis, man. And we're going to go a little off topic here. We're going off sports this week, Davis. Off off sports, Jax? I know. It's a first. They got to they gotta see more of our intrapersonal selves. Yeah. There's more than a person that does yeah. sports. There's more... There's more to us than just some balls, and I'm. That's that. That's, that sounded a little weird. It wasn't. Like sports balls. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we got the topics today. Dirty mind. <laughs> Favorite class of all time in high school. College applications. How's it going for us? What we're looking forward to still in senior year, as we're only seven weeks in, almost end of the first quarter. Post college dreams, favorite Mason sports game of all time. Gosh, that's gonna be tough. What are we thinking about doing for our major, Dave? What is your favorite all time class in high school? Well, mine has to be world history freshman year with Vance, the man Reed. Why was it the best? One easiest class I ever took, but that wasn't my. I feel like that's a lot of the reason of it. It's no. an easy A. I mean, you got to get that GPA up, you know what I'm saying? No. It's a good place to start, but uh, <laughs> my, my, the reason I love that class was because of the culture that was made in that class. We didn't talk about history. We talked about life. Did you become a better man in that class? Is that a, is that a pun? Because my last name is Man. I know. I've known you for what? <laughs> a, be- a better man? Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Let's go. I mean, you're the best man besides Brett. That's a story for another. <coughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, but Mr. Reed, he's, I, I think he's one of the most enthusiastic teachers. What bell did you have him? Fifth bell. Oh, that's a long bell. Lunch bell. bell. That's a, that, what, did, what lunch did you have? We had, we had C. Oh, so you had him like, you had him that long period of time. Yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. His room is pretty hot though and it smells bad. Is it like, does he smell bad as like a person? Is he stinky? No, it's the, I think it's the food that he brings to school. What kind of food he bring in, man? I'm thinking like casserole. What kind of cat? There's a like, lot of like casserole. A, like some, maybe a little broccoli casserole. Oh, that like, does smell bad. It, it's good. It tastes good. Do you it have smells some? not good. No. Oh. I had some, uh, I had some pretzel rods, though. Oh, like the, like the ones in the bag? Yeah. That, that, that he offered me. Oh. Because I was his favorite student. Like, all time? No. In that class. Oh. Why were you the favorite? Because, do you know my personality? You're I'm going. A, I'm a people. I'm You're a, a people, people person? Yeah. Especially to, I feel like I'm more extra personal to people that I don't know. So you're saying, like... Actually, that's false. So you're saying you're just going to be, like, the guy that, like, you know, like, you're a sit basically. Like, you're going to, like, be up there and... Like, yeah, I mean, if them. someone wants help, I'll give it to them. But uh, I don't just go up to people, you know. Like, if I, if I get approached, I'm a cool guy. If I approach you, I'm going to be a little nervous, you know. Like, I'm just not comfortable doing that. So you're saying you want them to make the move, not you? Yeah. In class. In class. Just in class. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, well, my favorite class is also freshman year, and it is also history. But I took honors world history, man. Loser. Mr. Burkett, um, I feel like, besides the fact that, uh, he wanted me to play football, uh, which I didn't want to do, uh, the class was, I think it was a class of a lifetime. Uh, the people in that class, you know, it was a culture that was just, like, so fun loving. Like, we literally, he'd be, like, nap time in the middle of class. Like, we'd have, like, 10-minute uh, breaks to just, like, you know, a lot of people have, like, tough lives, morning practices, you know. That was, like, the intro to high school. It hit people hard. I think it hit me hard, you know, especially, like, baseball, like, that starting up that whole grind. Like, yeah. But the culture in that class was, it was unique. We'd have, like, presentations, like, that were groups, like, all the time. And, you know, history is, like, one of my favorite subjects, too. I'm kind of a nerd for history, as you or may, may or not know. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a history buff too. You know, history. It's, it's my favorite uh, topic on uh, trivia crack. Oh, actually, no, geography is my favorite. Geography's. But, I mean, we do play GeoGuessr. 
So yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Social studies is the best by far. You think so? Social studies is the best. Like out of the four, like math, science. I agree. English, Social studies is the best. Yeah. So English is a close second. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of a dog at English. I like English. I love it. It's weird. I mean, my mom's, a, you know, my mom's an English teacher, yeah. so. Same. Yeah. Well, she's a language arts teacher. Oh. Same thing. Yeah, but um, English, I feel like I don't like it, but I'm good at it, so I enjoy it. But the teacher really matters for English. That's true. Like, I remember, I, th- I think I got really lucky. I don't remember hating any of my English teachers. Yeah, I, I've liked all my English teachers. Yeah, I had Balzo, then I went to dine in, and then junior year was Catalino, and then this year is English. Miss Salenza, so that's, that's four years. That's pretty good for yeah, years. I'd, I'd Navarro. He's good. Mr. Allen. He's good. Dog. He's a dog. Power Mr. move wearing Mr. Mr. sandals, right? No, dude, neat. Dude, he, he's looking good now. I, I think he lost weight over good over stuff. summer. He's looking absolutely phenomenal. That's great to hear. I saw him. I respect everybody on that. And his too. his beard is drippy. It's drip. His beard is. It's like four different colors, but it all blends so perfectly. Is it like salt and pepper, but like time more than yeah, that? salt and pepper with a little bit of cinnamon. In it, so it's a little bit of orange, but it's not like orange. So it's just like the perfect mix. Okay. So then, <coughs> Davis, where are we thinking about applying to college? Well, or have you gotten accepted? I'm applying. I've not sent an application yet. I'm applying to the Ohio University. Oh, you? That's gonna be my number one. Okay. And then I'm also applying to Maryland. Terps. And Arizona State University, and okay. the University of Cincinnati, and Miami of Ohio. So you got three in-state, two out-of-state. Yeah, and possibly West Virginia, because West Virginia is in-state for Ohioans, which oh, doesn't really? make sense. Yeah. How? That's actually so I don't I don't ask the questions, or I don't answer the questions. I just ask. That's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, but... It the the weirdest thing is teacher Rex. Yeah, I haven't really gotten it yet. Because I I feel bad because that's a lot of work. Everyone is asking every teacher that they've had. Yeah. But and like each teacher, if there's like even twenty kids in a class and they have six bells a day because they have one plan bell. Yeah. That's a hundred and twenty kids. Yeah. It's 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 tough being a teacher. Like I feel like they're, it's one of the most slept on jobs. Like they need like. They need to get paid. Yeah. That's, like, I know they get off summers, but, like, still. Like, their summers, yeah. they got work to do. Like, most of them have kids at home. Like, it's yeah. it's a hustle, man. I respect to everyone who does it. Shout out my mom. Yeah, same. Shout out mama. Shout out grandmama. Shout out other grandmama. Are you, you know in line I mean? to be the next teacher, Dave? <sighs> no. No? You're breaking the trend? Probably. Dang. Why would I? I don't want to become a teacher. We can talk about what we want to do as our yep. major later, Jax. For my college apps, uh, I, I know, like, sending me and my sister to college. Uh, my sister's a junior in high school. Uh, my parents told me to stay in state, and I respect that. I may have to consider the West Virginia thing, because I didn't know that was uh, in state. And uh, so I'm thinking about I th- I've applied to Bowling Green. I've been accepted. You, you you're thinking about legitimately going there? Uh, I mean, it's a nice campus. Uh, it's it's like it right in the middle of Ohio, so like everything's a two hour drive, which is nice. Like, cause like there's so many places you can go in Ohio. Uh, Toledo, I have applied for. Uh, I'm applying to Cincinnati and Ohio State soon. Because i got to get my essay done. And then I may apply to Louisville, maybe. That's that's the top six, seven. I was thinking about UK. That's far down in Kentucky, though. I mean, no, it's not that bad. It's like two and a half hours. It's not bad. But they're a little expensive. It's out of state. Yeah. It sucks. 
You know what school is weirdly expensive? What? I forget. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw it yesterday, and I was like, what? What? what it was... Is it like a Power 5 school? No. It in, was, in state? No. It was out of state. Do you know what state? Oh, it was Rhode Island. It's expensive? URI? Yeah. 38000 a year. <sighs> URI? Something yeah. to do in Rhode Island, man. It's going to be cold. I was looking at them because of their, uh, their like, cybersecurity and criminology. Is it, like, top of the line? Yeah. Well, with, with saying cybersecurity and criminology, how about we just hop right into our major? Ooh. Is that, is that your major? I want to go into criminology. That's, that's, that's why I applied for Maryland, because Maryland is right next to Quantico. Which is the yeah, FBI. Yeah, yeah. Like. I've seen the show Quantico. But Maryland's a little tough to get into. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, it was easy. Like, oh. like 30 plus ACT, 3.9 plus GPA. Davis, so are you, you going to meet the requirements? Um, possibly not. Yeah, college essays, that's, that's yeah. the money maker right the, there. Uh, OU, uh, I'm thinking OU because their criminology, it's decent. Or Arizona State. Arizona State's really good. But Todd, they, are, they are pretty expensive. Though. And you got to go, what, like, that's cross country. I'm down now. You're down. You know what they say about Arizona State? Time of a lifetime. It's fate to go to Arizona State. I've seen you rep the Arizona State hoodie. Yeah. Throughout, throughout grade school. Yeah. Had AZ it. on top, baby. Forks up. Uh, they, they lost this weekend. Forks up. Sorry to bring up sports, but they lost to BYU. Forks up, Jax. <laughs> I like the They're winning the Natty within the next 100 years. Actually, years. no, I don't think that's true. They're going to win a bowl game within the next six years. Oh, man, so <laughs> tough. Oh, speaking of sports, we'll, we'll do this, then we'll stop. Dave, you're wearing a Baylor shirt today. Would you like to explain uh, your, your Baylor? I'm repping the Baylor Bears because on the Comcast so episode two, one. two weeks ago, Episode two. When that we was college. college, yeah. I called the Baylor Bears going to the Big 12 championship and facing off with Oklahoma. And I said, oh, well, the, everyone's going to lose to Oklahoma. So whoever wins the Baylor-Iowa State matchup is going to end up making the Big 12 championship. And look who won. Baylor. I know. I, I thrifted this shirt, actually. I got to give you a shout-out. That's why I gave you the shout-out. And I, I thought, oh, we're recording the Comcast today? Bam. Put on the Baylor Bears. Right. Sick them. Sick them. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> go Bears. But go Bucks first, you know. Oh, not, that's a true fan right there. Yeah. <sighs> Going back to my major. <sighs> I'm thinking about doing something physical therapy. Because I like, you know, like, as a baseball player, you see the struggles of people struggling with Tommy John. A lot of people get hurt playing baseball. A lot of people play and get hurt playing any sport, soccer, football, basketball. Like, there's just career, there's, like, career, like, injuries that'll take ages to recover. And I feel like I could be, like, a person that could help them, like, say, like, you could, like be, like, a motivator. Like, I feel like, uh, you know what a PTA is? No. It's a physical therapy assistant. It's, like, the people that, like, do the workouts with them, you know? Like, I f- not, yeah. like, writing the program, but, like, do it with them, like, each day. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like even if, like, the pay, like, isn't there, like, I feel like that's something I would, like, love to do. Not, like, you know, like, work. For- you know, like, they say the saying, like, would you, like, rather, like, hate your life and have a lot of money or love your life and not live, like, have, like, the luxuries? That's, that's how I'd live it. I'd love life but not have the luxuries, you know? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure... They have good hours. Yeah. Because I don't think they start too early in the day yeah. for PT. Because no one's going to show up at 8 a.m. for... Or yeah. on the weekdays. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. one's going to show up at like 7 or 8 a.m. for yeah. PT like they have work. Yeah, I mean... So I just feel like it's like a good side... Like a good hustle for me. And if it doesn't work out, then I can just go right back to undecided. I mean, I have a lot of interest. Yeah. What do you... What do you... Kinesthesiology? Is that what you're trying to do? Like kinesthetics and stuff? Yeah, I mean... Or like, sports med? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like, the, like... I've, I know I haven't taken the classes in, like, high school for that. Because, you know, like, 
playing sports in school and trying to work out like every day like it's tough Mm -hmm. like balancing like I know you have the same problem with work lifting like doing school like that's it's tough especially at Mason like you're one of the best schools in the state I mean it's it's tough yeah but I also want to reiterate mine I'm going criminology okay and I'm gonna try and get a doctorate Ooh. in criminal psychology. That's a lot of school. That's it's a lot of school. What is it, like but, eight years, nine years? But a PhD, that's something you can have forever. And if I get my PhD, if going into the FBI and stuff doesn't work, I can end up going into just normal psychology because I already have the criminal psychology background. So I'll learn yeah, about right normal psychology. Yeah. And then I'll be a psychologist, own a private practice, that's good money. That's bang. Your own hours? Yeah. Like, you get to sleep in, because I know you and waking up early, they, yeah. they clash. First, I could be first, uh, what is it? Appointment? First appointment? 3.30 every day. PM? Yeah. How late would you go? Go till 10. No later than 10? 10, 10, well, 10.30, because they're each going to be like an hour or two long. Okay. That's, that's a good hustle for you. I mean... Yeah. Criminology doesn't work out, just go right to that. And I get, like, a receptionist for me. End up working at... You know the place behind Culver's? Like, those apartments and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like those would be a nice spot to have a practice. Just, like, one of those floors? Yeah. That'd be nice. There's good parking. Easy yeah. to get to. And then you get Culver's right after. Or, Shout out Culver's. Or, you know where Regal is? Like, Regal yeah, right yeah, yeah. In, in Deerfield? Right by... Uh, it's near that uh, Red Robin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, In Deerfield, there's apartments over there. That would be sh- money to run out of. That would be. Just pay rent. Go to do your practice. Yeah. Well, I'll segue. Okay. Oh! What are we looking forward to senior year? What a segue. Ooh, what a segue. Uh, there's a lot of things looking forward to senior year. Uh... Homecoming's in like two weeks. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, uh, the news that it's inside now and not outside, like that. that was I never even heard that. It's inside? Where is it at? Uh, they sent the email. Mi- the middle school? Yeah, uh, arena. So, I mean, it was supposed to be outside, so thank goodness they changed yeah, it. That's a dub. It would have been freezing. I, I, I'm wearing suit shorts for senior year. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be freezing if it was outside. Uh, moving, what other things I'm looking forward to? Uh, if I have a date, Sadie's. Uh, but if that doesn't work out, you know, that doesn't happen. You know, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a girl for Sadie's. You are? You gonna get a girl to ask you? (laughs) All girls ask me, Jack. (laughs) You just gotta, you gotta find the one for you. And then. I know what I'm looking forward to. What are you looking forward to? Rec basketball. Rec basketball, I agree. Sign-ups end Monday. It's going to be a trip. Get your names in. Rec basketball senior year, it's, it's going to be – it's wide open. Yeah. I mean – Who's, who's, who's going to be on top? Uh, well, I heard uh, Todd's team. They're good now. Well, well, Todd's playing school ball this year. They got Molnar. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's I, pretty I, good. I'm pretty sure he's playing rec. Actually, he's pretty good. I, that's just – I could be wrong, though. Uh, I know, uh, someone else is playing rec, I forget. But, uh, the rec league, we could cover some of that. Uh, that'll be fun. I mean, <laughs> me and Davis are on opposite teams. Uh, you know, I destroy Jax every time I play him. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. What happened the last time we played? We won. Oh, you did. I, we didn't? No. We lost by, like, five. Well, we should have won. You guys cheated. Oh, we cheated. The uh, the refs they know their coach Mr. Messer, uh, and Mr. Messer so just got privilege. Mr. Messer's like, hey, Mr. Tabor, uh, uh, I'm your boss. Uh, Give us all the calls. Oh, uh, so okay. Mr. Messer, if you listen to this, you're a pumpkin eater. I like pumpkins. pumpkin yeah, Of course, seeds? you like pumpkins. Why? Because he's a pumpkin eater. Because you're a cheater, too. Oh. <coughs> Dang. Shots fired. Okay. Is well, there anything else you're looking forward to, Senior Davis? 
Um, spring, fall, or winter, looking toward the basketball games? Prom. Prom. You got a girl in mind? Jax, a lot of things can fall through before spring 2022. Who wouldn't want to be with Davis Mann? You know, that's a good question, but... Sheesh. Some of us may never understand why. I mean, Are I you, you going to get a date? To be determined. Exactly. TBD. That, so much stuff can happen within the next six months. What did you th- did you think that we were gonna have to wear masks in school six months ago? Yes. Six months ago would yes. have been a almost April. Yeah, I thought we were gonna have to wear masks. Exactly. Look, we're Imagine now. this is right after the school baseball teams were made. Yeah. Six months ago, where are we gonna be in six months from now? Uh, again, baseball going season. into April. Yeah. No one knows what's going to happen. You don't know who's making the far- varsity baseball team. It's true. You don't know who the new new fellows are going to be. You don't know who's going to get, yeah, yeah. Get the, sh- get the cut or the yeah. strikeout? Both. Because I know Noah Samuel is going to be throwing a lot of punch outs. Yes. Georgia Tech commit. He's six, he's pretty tall, too. 6'8". Yeah. Is there anything uh, you're looking forward to, like, game-wise, like, senior year? You're looking forward to go to basketball? No, not really. No? I'm looking forward to baseball going to state tournament games. But That will be fun. I don't think our basketball team is going to be that talented. I think we'll be better than that. We're always – I feel like – like, even though, like, our, we're struggling in football a little bit, uh, every game's been close. Besides, like, West, yeah, every game's been close. Could have won center. Could have won. Yeah, but West was the coolest game in the student section. I wasn't there. That is pain, Jax. I'm I'm going this weekend to Sycamore. Same. Jersey how far? Theme. How far is Sycamore? Twenty minutes. If if you if you're a if you're a little bit of a, a speedster driver, it's twenty minutes. Well, I'll get there in eighteen. Oh. Well, speaking of eighteen. Oh. Number eighteen for the Mason Comets. Toby Lewis. And that's why we're heading into the favorite Mason sports games of all time. Because he, he's one of my favorite players of all time. All time to watch. No, Mason all time. Yeah, like he's one of your Oh, yeah. He, I think he's number one. He's made, <sighs> number he, one. he's made some good spec catches. Yes. I'm going to go my number one before we talk about our favorite Mason game. Landon Long, freshman year, oh, he was different. He was. He, he that was the year like our basketball team. We were pretty good. If if we could have went to the basketball games last year, Trey K. Trey K would have been. He would have been the he would have been the favorite. You think? Uh, who didn't? Who doesn't love Trey K? I don't know anybody that doesn't love Trey K. I remember watching all the, uh, the games or mostly some of the games yep. on YouTube on the. NBC or yeah, something yeah. like that, sports NBC. radio or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And gosh, that man can finish at the rim. He's, he finds a way to get the ball in the hoop. He's got good touch. Yeah. But wait, what's your favorite football player that has come through Mason? Football player to watch? Yeah. <sighs> Nolan McCormick. Oh, dude, I, I almost forgot about Logan Dalton. Yeah. Freshman year, dog. It was a dog, but Nolan McCormick, yeah. he, he was a beast. He would... He, I, wish, I wish we saw him last year. Yeah. I, I, we were really good last year. We were or weren't? We were. Yeah. Who was our quarterback last year? Oh, yeah, Michael. Yeah. Molnar. The star. Three-sport athlete. Well, two. Well, two now. I think if, two. if he's yeah. playing rec. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be bad for the rec league if he's playing rec. Yeah, he'll dominate. He's pretty big. I don't think there's anybody that can stop him. Uh, no one can stop him in the whole GMC, and they're expecting us to stop him in recreational basketball yeah. league. That's true. That's kind of preposterous. Ooh, good vocab. So I think we have the same favorite Mason sports game. Sycamore. I'm not going to, yeah. Mason Sycamore. The blocked field goal to go to overtime was definitely one of the high moments. And then Charlie Seip hitting the 42-yarder. That was, that was lit. And then yeah. they, I, didn't we almost charge the field? It was 
because that was... Was that sophomore or freshman year? Freshman. Now, if we literally got almost all the way to the front. I remember that. Because, like, everyone thought we lost. We came to the front where, like, the seniors were, and it was just, it was hype. I was, I, I was still in the student section until the final whistle blew. I mean, just that whole game, the turn of emotions from, like, oh, no, we're going to lose to, oh, we're going to win, and then actually doing it, like, beating our rival, like... I think they missed a PAT. They did. To go into overtime. Yeah. And then we kicked Charlie Sack at that 42 yarder. That was insane. And then they had first and goal on the one. We stopped or them. Or the two. We stopped them four times. And they didn't get it, didn't get it. Incomplete pass yeah. on third down. They tried kicking a field goal. And we blocked. We blocked it. I remember leaving that game. I'm like, gosh, this is going to be an amazing four years. It hasn't been great since then. Wait, what happened sophomore year? Sophomore year was COVID. No, no, no. Football, though. Football. I don't really remember, what like, anything. Hold on. Let me. I don't remember sophomore year football. Oh, hold on. Quick research right here. Well, we're, we're on gmcsports.com. Is that 2019? Tw- uh, 20. 20, 2019, yeah. We were, we were five and... Five and three, not Five and bad. Six overall, um, I don't remember that season. Let's oh, see. Who I we do played. remember. I do remember the Springboro game. We got murdered by Boro. Yeah. Absolutely romp stomped by Lassel. Yeah. And then beat by Lakota East on Friday the thirteenth. Oh, that's when we had Colin Brown. I think right. Wait, wait, go down. What was our homecoming game? It was West. Yeah, I don't remember that. I don't remember this. I don't remember any of that. I just remember the year. It was a freshman year that we got beat by, like, uh, we got beat by, uh, what's the school? Coleraine, like, 40 to nothing. For, oh, um, yeah. Was that we got year? absolutely murdered. I remember we were all wearing yellow. Yeah, yeah, For yeah. comments for Casey. We were 7-1 that year. In the freshman gym, see? Yeah. Oh, there's that miracle at Dwyer. 30 to 27 in OT. Yeah. We beat, we lost 42 to 7. We shut out West. Yeah, that's the last time that'll ever happen. Yeah. Probably. Ever. Their new coach. Yeah. And, oh, sophomore year was when we lost to St. X in the playoffs. We were like, like a lot at half, and then we just got the break speed off us. I remember that. Yeah, that's the only game I remember. Yeah. But what is what are some of your post college dreams? I mean, definitely like with are you not not job life life. I mean, it's like I know, like I said, my whole childhood I want to leave like Ohio, but like I don't know anymore. Like Ohio has been good to me. There's a lot of people I know here. I I, I understand Ohio so well. Family is here. I wouldn't be able to leave the sports. Like, like I wouldn't Ohio be able to, like Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, Cincinnati Reds, Cleveland Indians, Ohio State. Yeah. I would not Cavs. be able to leave. It's just tough to leave. I mean, and like this state's like just. I feel like it's so like if you have to live here to like understand the state. Like if you like if you like came here like in high school like I feel like you wouldn't know what to do but like when you're here like you know what to do <coughs> on a weekend night you know what to do on a weekday night like. And you should know where, like, I feel like there's just such a community in Ohio that you don't find anywhere else. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd 100% want to live in, like, the suburbs, though. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to be a possibility if I work in the FBI <laughs> or CIA or whatever. Yeah, you because keep it low-key. Wh- what am I going to do from Ohio? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, there's no, I don't think there's an agency in Ohio. I don't think there is either. I don't think there's enough crime in Ohio for there to be an agency. So there's I'm, there's crime in Ohio, but not like FBI yeah, crime. Yeah, not FBI crime. More like just police crime. So I think I'd have to live in like Virginia. Yeah, Which, be, it's probably the same it's, weather though. It's nice. It's decent. Nice yeah. I love the wilderness. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I love the wilderness, but I'm not an outdoorsy guy. So you just like looking at the wilderness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the views, the, the sounds. Yeah, I'm scared of animals. Actually, I'm scared of small animals. Like critters? Like bees? Yes. If I saw... If I, I'd be more scared if I saw a spider than a grizzly bear. 
No way. Like a like a How? like a thick backed spider, I'd be way more scared. Than a grizzly bear yeah. that could just scratch your face off. A fuzzy spider? Those are those are creepy, I'll give you that. Yeah. I would you know, like the black widows, the Oh my god. The big you're ones. You're making my skin crawl. Eesh. But the, if I saw a grizzly bear, I'd just pray, you know? <laughs> just Actually. Pray. But if I saw a spider, I literally would freeze. I wouldn't know what to do. Just flick it off. You just... I don't think that's how it works. That's what I do in my house. There's spiders in my Yeah, face. There's, there's, not, there's not big, fuzzy spiders the size of your hand in your Are house. Are you talking about, like, a tarantula? Yes. Bro, I'd just stomp on that thing. I'd do my dance on the... The tarantula. I would be too scared to. What if what if it bit through your shoe or you had a hole? Well then you're just like putting yourself in situations that like are I don't know. It's like tough. I'd do the gritty on a tarantula. <laughs> you did the gritty like thirty minutes ago. I'd say right foot creep. Oh copyright there. This you can't yeah. say you can't say all the words. We've yeah. we gotta make a monetization for NBC. Yeah. Well, Davis, it's been fun. I think that's it. You know, we got to close the laptops. We do. Shake Week hands. Part four. Week four is in the books. Thank you, guys. Um, anything you want to say? Last uh, words. I want to say thank you for listening. And uh, we love everyone that listens to the podcast. We do. It really means a lot to us. And uh, you guys all deserve happiness. All deserve love. Yeah. And uh, I wish the best to you guys and your families. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. you guys. For the rest of COVID. Yeah. Love you guys. Be safe. Run away from my past, I'll race my demons. Heavily out here lurking while I'm creeping. Cut off my angel wings, now I'm in peace.